What's it guys, Maswash here bringing you a tip video today and it's how to control your recoil more basically. Now, I'm going to do it in the main lobbies of the um, of the game and I've got five, well, four guns here to test out and show you how you can control your recoil with them. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare has a few guns with recoil that it just goes straight up so I'm filming my controller here and filming the game as well so you can see syncs with my controller what's happening in the game and stuff. So I'm going to go to the firing range and just show you what I mean. Right, so let's just shoot at this pole here with the HBR. So if I just leave it, don't touch the analog stick, just press that, aim and shoot. As you can see, that recoil goes fairly high. Now, I can control this recoil because I've learned to do it. So if I stand here, back at number three, and look at that, they're pinpointing in one place on the wall compared to that. How did I do that? I'm going to show you guys now. Okay, it's a really good tip and it helps with a lot of weapons with high recoil. In Advanced Warfare, it's usually some of the assault rifles and LMGs that have high recoil and a few SMGs. Not a lot of stuff has recoil in this game though, so they have super accurate guns. So basically what I did was when I'm shooting, you want to, you want to get to know the recoil. So what I did, obviously if I shoot this gun, it goes up quite a lot. It didn't do it there, kind of close at range. So, I kind of get a feeling of how high it's going to go with that distance. I kind of want to implement it in my controller with my, the one where you move around with, you know, like move around where you're looking. Um, you want to be pulling that down very, very slightly. So, if I'm doing it, how I shot there, it was like that. So, it is going down, but because the recoil is pushing it back up, it's kind of evening it out and it's, that even bounce which is hard to get. So as you can see, I'm going to shoot and just watch my thumb here, this one. You know, I'm pushing on it very slightly. I don't know if you can see that. Let's try it from here. Um, oh, what's a better angle here, maybe? Here. Yeah. Right. And I'm pushing down it slightly. I don't know if you can see, but that's how you can control recoil. Try it with a different weapon just to see if we can do the same thing. So the ASM-1. The recoil on this gun is... Okay, that was fairly accurate from that close. Let's try it from back here. Okay, it's like up and down. I want to get that more pinpoint accurate. Accurate. Okay, that, that was not a good example. Let's try it. That, that was normal without me pushing on it, so... See? This is what I'm trying to explain here. The ASM-1 has recoil going up and down. These are the hard guns to control because obviously if recoil is going up and down, up and down, you've got to keep moving your analog stick to do that. These are the guns you're better off putting grips on to control your recoil. But obviously with guns such as the, um, hold on, such as the Pytech, it's a waste of putting a grip on it when you can control the recoil. Now this gun is weird. If I shoot at this wall from number three, as you can see, it goes straight up in a line on the screen, and then it goes back down and starts firing in the same position. Now, if you want to stop, because that's at the start of every time you start shooting, it will do that. If you want it so then first bullets are pinpoint accurate, what you've got to do is what I've just said and pull down on the um, right analog stick, your aim stick, such as that. And then obviously you get it so it's more in the center and then some go down. That's because obviously when you're doing the recoil, um, controlling the recoil when it's trying to go up, when you're pushing down, after that recoil burst at the start of this weapon has stopped, you're going to be pulling it down a bit. That's when you've got to concentrate on getting your analog stick in the center again so it's pinpoint accurate. But you can see the difference there. If you're shooting, that's going to be going above someone's head if you're shooting at the head height. That's going to be you know, nailing them in the head basically. So that's that's all it, there is to controlling recoil. Uh, the EM1 is also another good example. This has very bad accuracy sometimes. Um, let's just try it on this wall. So if I just let it go, you know, the accuracy kind of goes up to the left. So these are the ones that are quite hard to uh, also adjust as well. With these, you've got to, obviously if it's going up that way, the recoil, you want to pull back this way to control it a bit. So such as, and you can keep it in the same area. Look at the difference. 
that is the big difference of recoil and that's how you can control it hopefully this video helps you out with that um, it definitely helps improve other people's game and their aim as well as well as it's helped improve mine a lot it's a uh, it's a very um it's a very useful tip because it stops you wasting an attachment basically for a grip if you can control the recoil with your thumb instead of putting a grip on it's one more thing to think about with your controller but it does save your own attachment as you can see that's the uh, that's the difference of recoil and it can make a big difference in your game it's what a lot of pros do and I just thought I'd share with it you guys if you didn't know how to do it um, I've done recent videos like this on the past where I, basically I like analyzing the guns and their recoil and then you have to do the opposite of where the recoil is going so if the recoil is going up that way pull down this way um, well no that way if it's going that way it's you know it's um it's something easy to think about uh, but implement it into the game is hard you just have to get used to controlling recoil with the different guns get used to each different gun you use and you will definitely um you will definitely succeed so if I just shoot a target here shoot this shoot that I can pinpoint that dot there with the HBR it just starts moving up it's you know it's not actually hope you enjoyed the video please like it if you did hopefully this helps you out have a nice day guys peace